So first off, I just want to say sorry if you hear buzzing in the background. Someone is chopping something and I try to wait for them, but they're taking super long and I just can't wait. So, so this week it is D23, which is really exciting, but it's really sad for me because I won't be there because it's too far away and too expensive. But I figure it would be nice for me to do sort of, sort of Disney series video again to at least uh, hype up everybody's mood. So I figured I would answer some Disney questions. I'm going to answer 30. It's a lot, but I'm going to try and go through them as fast as possible, um, just so you can know more about what I love about Disney. Um, this was by far really, really, really hard because there's so many Disney things and you can only choose one. So let's just get started. For number one, my favorite character. Oh, I should start off by saying I'm excluding Marvel and Star Wars just because um, that goes into like a whole other category and I love both of them, but if I did that, it would just it would be a mess so I'm excluding them but for number one my favorite character is Kermit the Frog from the Muppets um, Kermit the Frog embodies everything that I am but also everything that I want to be um, I think he's hilarious but I think he also has like he's very practical and I appreciate that and then also just like he has a little bit of a temper which is really funny when he explodes so I appreciate that um, but yeah he's my favorite character favorite princess my favorite princess is actually Moana but currently, right now, we don't know if she's going to be a princess, so I just put Mulan because Mulan embodies everything that a hero should be and everything that I think a Disney character should display. She doesn't wait for people to, to come and give her things. She goes out and gets them, and I appreciate that so much about Mulan. She's so great. She's always been one of my favorites. Um, my favorite prince is for number three is Flynn Rider. He has such a good personality. I feel like a lot of unfortunately Disney princesses and princesses and princes, princesses and princes. Yeah, um, I feel like they unfortunately don't really get that much of a characteristic traits. Like they, they kind of all sometimes blend together. Unfortunately, and Flynn is one of those that really stands out. Like he has such a great personality and he's funny, and I really appreciate the relationship that he has with Rapunzel. Uh, number four, the first Disney Pixar film you've seen. Um, the first one that I saw. Uh, the first one that I saw actually was Finding Nemo. I was four years old and I remember I was really excited because um, it was the first movie I ever saw and my mom told me I wasn't going to go to the movies until I was four years old and I remember I picked that one especially. I said I want to see that one and yeah ever since then I've just been a Pixar and Disney fan. Um, which is great. Uh, number five, favorite Pixar film is actually Ratatouille. Um, I actually talk about Ratatouille in my favorite movies video if you want to check that out and I explain why it's my favorite but uh, overall I just really love the message of Ratatouille about how anyone can do anything as long as they put their mind to it. I just love that message. Uh, number six, favorite Disney World theme park. Um, I would say it's Hollywood Studios, but unfortunately with all the things that are happening, uh, I don't know what it's going to be like, so I'm actually going to say it's Epcot. Um, I just appreciate the fact that you're learning while having fun, and I mean, who doesn't like to eat at World Showcase? I don't know anybody that doesn't. Um, so yeah, Epcot would be one of my favorites. Uh, number seven, favorite theme park show. It's actually Fantasmic. Uh, I had a really hard time with this one, but... Um, I'm just gonna go back from like nostalgia to and just like decades. I've always seen Fantasmic and so I've had that in my mind for the longest and I just appreciate it and I think it's just such a great story and I love it when that boat comes out and you see all the characters and they're waving. It's just so great. Uh, number eight, the saddest movie death, Mufasa from The Lion King. Sorry if you, if that's a spoiler. If you haven't seen The Lion King, I, I don't know what to say. Why haven't you seen The Lion King? Why? Number 12, Disneyland or Disney World? Definitely Disney World because I've never been to Disneyland. I'm trying to get out there soon, but we'll see um, if that happens. Number 13, the first time we went to Disney, I was actually, I was five or six the first time I went. Um, number 14, CGI or hand-drawn? Hand-drawn all the way. I like CGI, but honestly, I just appreciate hand-drawn so much. It's so pretty. Like, the artistic style is just, it's so great. But yeah, uh, hand-drawn. Number 15, favorite Disney pen. And I say this because I am a pen trader. I have so many pens, and I actually have the pen that I love the most. It is a little Pascal from Tangled, and I love this little thing. Um, I do actually wish that it would color change, but it's all right. Um, but yeah, he's really cute. It just has like a little back end that I put him on and I kind of always had this on one of my jackets. That's why it's off right now. So I just kind of change it back and forth. 
Um, number 16, favorite Disney quote is, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And I really appreciate this one because it's not saying that like, your dreams will come true no matter what, but it's saying, yes, your dreams can come true, but as long as you put in the work and the effort to do it. Um, number 17, the last Disney movie you watched was Pocahontas. Uh, I love Pocahontas. Number 18, uh, least favorite Disney princess, Merida. Hands down, Merida. I do not like Merida. I've watched Brave once, and I was like, I'm never watching it again. So, yeah. Number 18, oh, number 19, sorry. Least favorite Pixar movie, it is Brave. Um, Cars came in at a close second, but yeah, Brave is, is my least favorite. Um, number 20, least favorite sequel, Pocahontas 2. Journey to a New World, I think it's called. That movie, no, that movie was so bad it made me cry. I was little, but I saw it and I just bawled my eyes out because I hated it so much. Like, I just did not like it. It was so bad. Um, I didn't like the outcome. I didn't like anything about Pocahontas 2. Don't watch it. Don't. Don't put yourself through that torture. Um, number 21, Mickey or Minnie. Mickey all the way. 22, movie that makes you cry. Up. It makes me cry because it's so sweet, but it's also so sad. Like, even at the ending, the ending is sad for me still, too. Like, it's just all, it just makes me cry. Um, favorite Disney ride at 23 is the Jungle Cruise. I love the jokes. I love the fact that it can always be a different ride every time you ride it. That people can kind of add their own personality. And I just love the Jungle Skippers. I think they're so much fun. Number 21, your favorite childhood Disney character. Winnie the Pooh. I loved Winnie the Pooh so much as a kid. In fact, I think I actually had a Winnie the Pooh room and but I, weirdly all of my Winnie the Pooh stuff is gone and I don't know where it went but yeah um 25 favorite underrated song Candle in the Water from Peach Dragon it is so good I feel like I'm like the only one that knows about that song but it's so good it really is um favorite decom which is a Disney Channel original movie and that was the color of friendship yeah um I love the color of friendship I love the message I think it's powerful especially for like a Disney Channel movie I just appreciate it because I feel like now a lot of them really don't do much. Like, they don't have a great message. They're just kind of there, unfortunately. And I feel like before it was, like, they had very important messages in their movies, and I appreciated that. So, yeah, um, The Color Friendship. 27, favorite uh, DCOM song, What I've Been Looking For, from High School Musical. Uh, 28, favorite Disney animated show. That would actually be a recent thing, Tangle the Series. It swooped in, and it wowed me. It's really good. But you know what, though? I No. I'm going to take that back because you know what I realized? Gravity Falls. And I love Gravity Falls so much. So actually, Tangled comes in a close second, but I don't know why I didn't think about Gravity Falls. But yeah, Gravity Falls is my number one. 29, favorite Disney Channel TV show, like live action, That's a Raven, hands down. Yes, before you type in a comment, I do know that That's a Raven is getting a show and it's Raven's home. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, and last but not least, number 30. Favorite Disney sidekick. And that goes to Mushu from Mulan. Um, you can't get tired of Eddie Murphy, right? He's always a good sidekick. Whether it comes from Disney or DreamWorks, he's always good at what he does. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I had to really uh, plow through that because I didn't want the video to be super long. Um, but I still wanted my personality to shine through and I wanted you guys to know what Disney things I liked. So, uh, I promise my next video will be slower, but hopefully you like this. And if you have favorites, please leave them down below. And if you want to do a video like this, that would be great. Uh, make sure to share it with me. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.